If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, your life will be easy. If you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for it, to work day and night for it, to give up your time, your peace, and your sleep for it, if all that you dream and scheme is about it, and life seems useless and worthless without it, and if you gladly sweat for it and fret for it and plan for it, and lose all your terror of the opposition for it, and if you simply go after that thing that you want, with all of your capacity, strength and sagacity, faith, hope and confidence, and stern pertinacity, if neither cold, poverty, famish or gulf, sickness of pain of body and brain can keep you away from the thing that you want, if dogged and grim you besiege and beset it, with the help of God, you'll get it. Accomplish the people who want to make a f***ing difference. You guys got to go all in. You can't stick your f***ing toe in the pool and say, oh, you know, I don't know, this kind of feels weird. No, you have to dedicate every f***ing breath, every f***ing ounce of energy, and every f***ing thought and effort that you possibly have to becoming what it is you want to be. Every minute, every hour, every day, every week, every month, every f***ing year, for as long as it f***ing takes, you should be consumed with that path. What you do at night matters. What you do in the morning matters. What you do on Saturday, what you do on Sunday matters. The success clock doesn't give a fuck what day it is. It's gonna run no matter what. If you wanna get where I think you wanna go, you better learn to get really used to being uncomfortable. If you're creative enough, can you find the answer, yes or no? If you're determined enough, can you find the breakthrough, yes or no? Creativity, decisiveness, passion, these are the ultimate human resources. And when you engage these resources, you can get any other resource on earth. Stop telling yourself the story because you don't have the money, you don't have the time. That's bullshit. It's because you haven't committed yourself where you would burn your fucking boats. If you want to take the fucking island, burn your fucking boats. And you will take the island because people, when they're going to either die or succeed, tend to succeed. But most of us give ourselves a way out, and that's why we don't have what we want. You ain't got no choice. You can't go back. There's no options at this point. It's do or die, baby. We do not have time. We about to go get it. It's ours for the getting. You can do it, and you're not leaving. Listen to me. We ain't going home. We ain't going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere until you get it done. We doing what we got to do to get what we got to get. Most people think success is a straight line. I'm going to get out of high school, I'm going to get a job, and everything's going to be fine. That's not how it plays out, folks, okay? This is how it plays out. Guy decides he wants something. Hey, man, I'm going to get this job this summer, and I'm going to make some money this summer. And then he gets distracted by the first squiggly because he's not focused on his success. I'm going to go out and hang out with the guys this weekend. It's a squiggle. It's off path, off purpose, off potential. You focus on your priorities, you eliminate your confusion. Single focus. This one thing I do. Concentration is the secret in all human affairs. You've got to concentrate. What you concentrate on is what you get. Focus on your dreams. You get what you focus on. If you want to do something in life, it's going to take focus. You get to where you're trying to get to by staying focused, staying on a parallel path. Don't stop. Obstacles, problems, challenges. Keep moving forward. There are areas within myself where I cannot compromise. I am going to work hard. I am going to train hard. I am going to improve myself. I am not going to rest on my laurels. I am going to own my mistakes and confront them. I am going to face my demons. I'm not going to give up or give out or give in. I am going to stand. I am going to maintain my self-discipline. Step it up. Make yourself get out of the comfort zone and get into the combat zone where you have to fight, where you have to dig deep, where strength and power and fortitude are found. There will be no compromise. Not now. Not ever. Life will knock you between the eyes. It will catch you on the blind side, come out of nowhere, stuff you can't anticipate. That will knock the wind out of you. You want to give up. But in the face of that, 
you want to be relentless, you've got to decide that I'm going to be fearless. I refuse to be denied, and I'm going to go all out. I don't care how many no's I encounter, you've got to be willing to be unreasonable. If you want unreasonable results in your life, you've got to be willing to be unreasonable. Part of being unreasonable, you don't judge according to appearances. Part of being unreasonable, you can see it because you believe it. You must have the faith to call forth those things that be not as though they were. You've got to decide, I deserve this, and I'm going to have it. You've got to say yes to your life. You've got to say yes. Yes to my dreams. Yes to me. Yes, I can make it. Yes, I can. Doesn't matter how many failures I've made. Doesn't matter how many mistakes I've endured. Doesn't matter about my defeats. Doesn't matter about what I've done. Yes, yes. I don't care about the fact I'm in a hole now. Doesn't matter about where I am. Yes. The last chapter to my life has not been written yet. If you judge me now, you'll judge me prematurely. I haven't exposed all my stuff yet. I'm still in the process of transforming my life. I'm still in the process of becoming. Yes. You're going to do whatever it takes. Do you hear me? You're going to go your own way. You're going to do what they won't do. You're going to be smart and you are going to win. You will win if you don't quit. You've got to have stamina. You've got to have staying power. You've got to make no your vitamin. Logical, practical thinking says you can't do it today. But if you want to produce unreasonable results in your life, like living your dream and taking charge of your destiny, you've got to be an unreasonable person. You've got to be an uncommon person. It's you. You've got to take personal responsibility. You've got to make it your personal business to make it happen. And you've got to resolve within yourself that I can do this, that it's hard. But you've got to say, I'm the one. I'm the one to make this happen. I'm the one to become successful in this business. But you know it's going to be hard, but find out what will make it worth it for you. You must have, as a basic principle, the determination to achieve excellence in your various fields of endeavor. When you discover what you're going to be in life, set out to do it and to do it well. Set out to do it as if God Almighty called you at this particular moment in history to do it. And so I would urge you to study hard, to burn the midnight oil. I would say to you, set out to do a good job and do that job so well that the living, the dead, or the unborn couldn't do it any better. Falls your lot to be a street sweeper sweep streets like Michelangelo painted pictures, sweep streets like Beethoven composed music, sweep streets like Leontine Price sings before the Metropolitan Opera, sweep streets like Shakespeare wrote poetry, sweep streets so well that all the hosts of heaven and earth We'll have to pause and say, here lived a great street sweeper who swept his job well. If you can't be a pine on the top of the hill, be a scrub in the valley. Be a bush if you can't be a tree. If you can't be a highway, just be a trail. If you can't be the sun, be a star. For it isn't by signs that you win or you fail. Be the best of whatever you are. I have 24 hours. This 24 hours belongs to me. And whatever I do in this 24 hours will determine where I'll be tomorrow and the next day. And I think that's what people need to focus on. Get off of this, I wanna make six figures. I wanna drive this car, I wanna live in this house. I think what people should be focusing on is I have 24 hours. And in that 24 hour period, 
I can either break my life or make my life. You might be taller than me, you might be bigger than me, you might be stronger than me, but I'm coming and I'd rather die trying. I'd rather die. I'd rather give everything I got. I'd rather give a year. I'd rather put in work and fail to not try it off. If you work hard, you can't have it. It ain't nothing you can't have if you're willing to persevere, if you're willing to stick in there, if you're willing to stay, if you're willing to fight. It ain't nothing you can't have. If you really, really want it like you say you want it, you can have it. Michael Jordan, I remember I interviewed him years ago. And I said, what makes you the best in the world? Is it skill? Is it talent? Is it ability? Is it background? Is it training? He said, I didn't even make the high school basketball team my sophomore year. I was cut. What it is, is every day I demand more from myself than anybody else could possibly expect. I don't compete with other people, I compete with what I'm capable of. I don't negotiate with myself. Well, maybe I'll we'll do it tomorrow, I'm gonna do this, or oh, let me wait two more minutes till I'm ready. There's none of that shit with me. I go, I say, we do. I'm not here to discuss this shit with my mind. There's mind, and then there's soul and spirit. My soul fucking knows, and when I say jump, you fucking jump. I'm not here to have a discussion with you. Does it happen every year in my life? No, and when I find it's not working, and I step back up and condition it. How do you build a muscle? You don't build muscle because you were born with it. We're all born with muscle, but if it's developed, you trained it. And that means you had to find something that you valued more than your pain. You had to use your pain and say, I'm gonna use it to become more. If you were to write a book about your life and hand it to somebody, would that book change their life? If not, you better get the fucking work. Through self-discipline, through tons of repetition of the same thing that you don't want to do, you develop armor for your mind. Your mind's like, okay, we suffer every day. That's what we do. We do stuff that sucks every day, so then when the suck stuff comes, you're ready for it. You have to struggle. You have to struggle. The bigger the struggle, the bigger the peace. Wake up in the morning time and win the battle against yourself. If you think that you've given everything, you really haven't. If you have an excuse, about my mom wasn't there, my dad wasn't there, I got bullied in school, I was fat, don't wanna hear it. You have a lot more to give. Go out there and change the way you look at things, change your attitude and make something negative into a positive. It's usually not this big decision that you make that impacts your life, it's really just a bunch of little decisions that you make that impact your life. When the alarm goes off in the morning, are you gonna get up or are you gonna roll over and sleep more? Then are you going to go work out or are you going to go watch TV? It's little decisions like that that put you on the right path. When you make your decision, make the right decision. If you got one of those days where your mind is being weak, shut your mind down. It gets no vote. Set up your gear, set up your weights, and do the work. Just do the work. Don't put it off till tomorrow. Don't voluntarily do anything tomorrow that you should be getting done today. Get it done today. Don't wait. Attack it, destroy it, and move on. Decide to be better. Decide to get better. Decide to get after it. I want to be the person that is the first person there and the last person to leave. Because I think that the road to success is through commitment and through the strength to drive through that commitment when it gets hard. And it is gonna get hard and you're gonna to wanna to quit sometimes, but it'll be colored by who you are and more who you want to be. You can only have two things in life, reasons or results. Notice, reasons don't count. When you're committed to an outcome, there are no excuses, there are no stories, there are no reasons not to achieve it. But if you're interested in an outcome, you will do what's convenient. You'll come up with excuses, stories, reasons to support your convenience desire. And so here's my question for you, are you interested or are you committed? As you think about this that you know you need to handle, what are you going to do? Write down three strong reasons on why you know you must take action. And be explicit and descriptive in your reasons because your reasons have power. Your reasons will drive you. When you have doubt, when your faith becomes weak, your reasons will fortify your faith. When you have an inner conversation, say, no, don't do that. 
Your reasons will become your rod and your staff to comfort you, to take you through those challenging moments. And what you will find, that when you decide to act, when you decide to take life on, when you're stretching out, when you're taking life by the collar, and you know that what you're doing is right, it gives a special meaning and power to you. You begin to discover some things about you that you don't know you've got when you put yourself in that type of challenging situation. It's all right to fail as long as you fail forward. But I need you to have heart because there's some things you just can't get without perseverance. You gotta have heart because sometimes you'll get hurt and you gotta be able to bounce back. You gotta be resilient. Sometimes you're gonna face obstacles. You might pass the test on the fourth try, not the first, not the second, not the third, and you gotta have the ability to get back up and act like you ain't never failed in the first place. Are you hearing me? If you would be willing to fight your way through it, if you would be willing to fight your way through this battle, fight your way through cancer, fight your way through that academic struggle, fight your way through divorce, fight your way through boxing, fight your way through football. If it was easy, everybody would do it. You gotta fight your way through it. You got this far, if you was gonna quit, you should have quit a long time ago. You've come too far to quit now. You need to get a reward for it. Everybody's got a dream. Everybody's got a goal. What's the plan? Your plan has got to be clear, concise, compelling, consistent, and committed. You've got to have a plan. Don't go to bed without a plan of how you're going to handle the next day. You have to work at it every day. You have to plan. Productivity is never accident. I want you to understand that it's not going to happen by luck. Success is cause and effect, not magic luck or magic fairy dust. Success is easy. It's making a plan and executing the plan every day. Make a plan, work the plan. Make a plan, work the plan. And whenever the plan doesn't work, you change the plan. That's called failure. It's called learning a lesson. It's called adjusting. If you do the work and you do it for a long enough time, you will be successful. Every champion has felt it. Every victorious person has felt it. The urge to quit. Don't you give up on your dream. I don't care if you don't have the money, and you don't have the help, and you don't have the family for it, and you don't have the friends for it. Don't you give up on your dream. Don't you do it. It may take you twice as long. You may have to take courses and classes. You might not read as fast. You might not move as quick. You might not have as much, but don't you quit. If you lay dead, even the animals won't bite you. The risk of being bitten is the cost of getting up. And you have to decide, are you so concerned about being bitten that you're willing to spend the rest of your life laying dead? Or is there something pumping down inside of you that says, bite me or not, I'm getting up. I'm going to be the best me. I'm going to do all I can do. I'm going for it. With enough persistence, most things that seem impossible become possible. You just have to show up or show out so often. Time after time, you got to wake up and you got to drive. You got to be driven to go get something done now. You got to be willing to stand on your beliefs. Because a lot of times, you're the only one who can see it. And other people, they don't see it, really. But you got to really believe in what you got inside of you that's telling you and driving you to a certain goal for something. The very minute that you decide upon something, you know that's what you want. You know you're going to do it. All of these negatives that have been bothering you, they pick up their baggage and get out. They can't live in a positive mind. You have to move with courage, with faith, with determination. I don't care what it is. I don't care how difficult it is. Listen, you better put some strength in your back, plant your feet, and stand up. Don't you dare sit down. Don't you dare crumble under the weight of it. Don't you dare give in because of the nature of it. Don't you dare go home and raise the white flag of surrender because whatever is over you defines you. And whatever defines you limits you. This is not your season to die. This is not your season to quit. There's joy, there's peace, there's breakthrough, there's provision. But you'll never see it if you don't stand up to it. Your pain is going to be a part of your prize, a part of your product. 
I challenge you to never give up, never give in. And finally, guys, you got to want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe. So I had two choices. Either I was going to sit in that failure and give up, or I was going to make a decision to step out of the darkness. You see, when you're in that darkness, you want to sit there and wait for the light to come. When you're in that darkness, it feels uncomfortable, but you can't wait. The only way out is to step forward, to face your fears, to become your own light. I had to believe in myself like never before. I had to find my inner power. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. There's going to be a lot of times y'all about to fail. We are all a work in progress. And one day, you'll be sitting in the dark like I was. And you're going to be asking yourself, what am I going to do now? But in that moment, I want you to remember the power of you. You will change the world. If you live long enough, a lot of stuff will come against you. And you got to throw what you got at it. You can't throw what you wish you had. You can't throw what your neighbor had. You got to throw what you got at it. Don't tell me that you want something if you're not willing to throw what you got at it. You got to have inner strength for this fight. It's not your outer strength. It's not by might nor by power, but by my spirit. So you got to have that inner strength, that cut strength, that belly strength, that devil defined come hell or high water strength, that tenacity to take a licking and keep on ticking, that inner strength, that when I can't do as I would, I'm going to do as I can, but I'm not going to stop going to the best of my ability. You are excellent. Now stop playing small. You are excellent. Stop playing small. You are excellent. Stop taking the hand that they dealt you. Take ownership. If you can get all A's in the class, do it. You don't need nobody to give you $50, $100, no pair of shoes, take you on no trip. You a grown man. Do it because you can. Stop needing a carrot. Stop needing money. Stop needing a trip. Stop needing somebody to give you a sticker on your head and do it for the pride of who you are. Do it because you can. I don't care what your friends are doing. When you leave, what you fighting for? What's your legacy? What you gonna do? You say you a champ, but do you practice like a champ? You say you a champ, do you fight like a champ? You say you a champ, do you have the mentality of a champ? I want you to go to the next level and not just be a champ, but show the world what a champion looks like. The powers that we have will never reveal themselves if we don't challenge them. If we don't put ourselves in a position where we have to use them. Put yourself in a position where you can't retreat. Where it's do or die, sink or swim. Here's what you'll find out. You'll develop incredible swimming skills. You'll find yourself stroking unlike you've ever seen before. Through the inspiration of desperation, you'll become more creative than ever before. And if we're honest this evening, we know that we haven't done all we can do. So as we look at the future, we can decide that from this day forward, as I look at all the dimensions of my life, looking at myself mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, I'm going to do all I can do to develop me, to bring my talent out here, to make a contribution to life. There's no magic formula or sweatless solution by which one can achieve their goals. There is no shortcut. There is no hack. You're going to have to work. Stop rationalizing. Stop making excuses. Tell yourself the truth so that you can get where you want to go. You can be who you should be when you do what you know you should do. When you pay attention to the little things. When you implement true and unflinching and unmitigated discipline in your life. When you allow no easy excuses. And all that starts when you stop lying to yourself. When you tell
tell yourself the truth about where you are so you can make sure you are in the right place and if you're not in the right place that you can get yourself on the path to get there. The path of discipline, the path of hard work, and the path of truth. Have you done what you said you were going to do on January 1st last year? Did you stick to your New Year's resolutions or did you just talk about doing it? Did you just tell yourself, I'm going to do it after Valentine's Day or after this vacation or on Monday? Doing anything successful, doing anything important is going to make you inconvenient. There's always going to be a reason to wait. There's always going to be a busy schedule. There's always going to be something unexpected that happens. It's always going to be that way. You have to fucking work through it. But a lot of you motherfuckers just don't want it. It's easy to fall into the loving the idea of something, and it's hard to fall into the habits of action to actually achieve something. It's not about after the vacation or after this or after that. It's about right now. Now resolutions are the only thing that give you results. People who succeed stick to the plan regardless. They don't train themselves to use those as excuses. When you tell yourself you're going to lose five pounds or lose 50 pounds, you need to fucking do it. You all are curious about what the secret is. Why certain people succeed when you don't succeed. Well, I'm gonna tell you why. Successful people, while you're whining and crying about how things are hard and why things aren't fair, guess what they're doing? They're doing the fucking work. You have to commit to becoming better. You have to commit to being a person of action. You have to commit to being someone who doesn't just talk, but follows through. I challenge you guys to become people who do, instead of people who talk about doing. Make a resolution every day of your life because you only get one at bat. When you actually decide to make a change in your life, whether about weight or job, that's when you actually pull it off. It's religion, not tactics. Do you understand the power of one? It don't take 20 people. It don't take 10 people. It don't take five. It take one. Step up to the plate. No more excuses. No more good reasons. No more victim mentality. Take responsibility. I don't care what happened. You do whatever you gotta do. No excuses, none whatsoever. I don't care about how many jobs you need to get. I don't care what you gotta do. Make no excuse. So I'm challenging you when you watch this video, at the end of it, make a vow to step your game up if you ain't stepping it up. Step your game up and make the rest of your life the best of your life. You can write everything down if you want to. Be brave enough to write every one of your goals down. But I'm gonna tell you something. Life's gonna hit you in your mouth and you gotta do me a huge favor. Your why has to be greater than that knocked out. Sometimes in life, you have to hit back. Many of you right now, life's got you up against the rope. And you gotta do me a favor. Like, you can't give up. You can't give in. Listen to me, if it was easy, everybody would do it. Recycle your pain. Get something from it. You already in pain. Use it. Do something with it. Allow it to take you to the next level. Allow your pain to push you to greatness. It's not always going to be easy. They're not going to give it to you. They're not going to give you success. They're not going to put it on the platter. But if you're willing to work for it, if you're willing to put the sweat, the blood, the tears, if you're willing to earn it. You got to tell life, I don't know who you've been dealing with. But you come up against the wrong one this time. I used to talk to kids about the ant philosophy. Let me give you a couple of clues now about the ant philosophy. Here's number one, ants never quit. If they're going somewhere and you stop them or block their pathway, they'll look for another way, up, down, all around. How long will they keep looking? Till they find another way. See, that's, that's good philosophy, the ant philosophy. Here's another one. Ants think winter all summer. That's why ants appear to be in a hurry all summer. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Why? Winter, winter, winter. Hurry, hurry, hurry. 
The clock is running out. Time is running out. Hurry, hurry, get the food, bring it back. Get the food, bring it back. Winter's almost here. Hurry, hurry. See, that's good philosophy. So have you got that note now? Be like the ants. Think winter in the summer. Don't think summer in the summer and get faked out. Look how lovely and look how nice. See, that's getting faked out. Ants don't do that. They think winter all summer. Now here's the next one. You gotta think summer all winter. In the winter, you gotta say, we won't be in here long. We'll soon be out of here. We'll be out there working and gathering more food and providing for the future. This winter won't last long. We'll soon be out of here. So the key is to think summer in the winter and think winter in the summer. Now, if somebody needs help on this, you've got to learn how to put it in such a way. And giving them the ant story is one of the best. Think winter in the summer and then think summer in the winter. Think negative when it's positive and then think positive when it's negative. Isn't that a challenge? The answer is yes, that's a challenge, but that's life. That's the deal. How often does winter follow fall? Every year. Years ago, I did a series of lectures for Chevron dealers and their management. All over America, even up in Alaska and over in Hawaii. When I first started giving them this series of lectures, the management and uh, some of the leaders of the Chevron uh, Corporation called me in and we had a nice talk. And they said, well, first of all, Mr. Rome, we'd like to get acquainted and uh, we've heard about your presentation and we think you might be able to share some good ideas. And they said, by the way, you travel the world and right, you know a lot of corporate executives and you've been in business for a long time all around the world. They asked me, what do you think the next 10 years are gonna be like? And I said to them, gentlemen, you have asked the right person. So their eyes lit up. I said, I do have experience. I have traveled the world and I've lived a long time and I really know the deal. And here's how the next 10 years are going to be. About like the last 10. Right. Winter follows fall. Some are easy and some are hard. Some are difficult and some are simple. And then spring follows winter. It, for how many years now? Six thousand years of recorded history so it isn't going to change here's the essence of life opportunity mixed with difficulty that's about as simple as you can put it from the beginning the first two boys of the first family had difficulty and one killed the other the statistics have never been that severe since that wiped out 25 percent of the population So there's been the push of difficulty, good and evil, you know, present since the beginning. So that's not gonna change. The winters are gonna come. But here's what we all need to be advised. Think winter in the summer. Think opportunity in the winter. And then here's the deal. Sometimes there seems to be more difficulty than opportunity. It does. Then it turns. And then there's more opportunity than difficulty. During those terrible wars, World War I and World War II especially, and then the Vietnam War and the Korean War, those were terrible wars. We lost a lot of lives. Those were tragic days, tragic times. Hopefully those tragic wars are behind us. When there seemed to be more tyranny than liberty in the world. But now it's turned. And there's more liberty than tyranny. And the key is to take advantage when liberty comes in excess, when liberty comes in great amounts, take advantage, build the city, you know, build the economy, build everything, while liberty has its chance and its freedom because it can turn, it can turn. And sometimes an individual needs to hear this and you need to communicate it well. Use every story you can to communicate it. Create the highest, grandest vision possible for your life because you become what you believe. Dig deep down and ask yourselves, who do you want to be? Figuring out for yourselves what makes you happy, no matter how crazy it may sound to the people. 
You keep pushing because you believe in yourself and in your vision. The very first level is you seeing it like it's clear to you. Like you know exactly, exactly what you want. You know exactly what it tastes like. You know what it looks like. You know what it smells like. Before you really blow up, blow up, and you get success, you literally have it in the palm of your hand without having it. I don't care what happens in your life. I don't care where you are. Every single day you wake up, if you're gonna have energy, if you're gonna have passion, if you're gonna have drive, every day you wake up, you gotta start with that vision. How many people have you met in your life who have said things like, I had that idea, or I was so close, but I gave up? Sometimes the difference between success and failure, winning and losing, is a very fine line between those people who continue to move forward. There will be people along the way who will say to you, you're dreaming too big. Don't allow anyone to tell you that what you are dreaming is not possible. It is possible. Don't be one of those people 20 years from now are going to be walking around in a 9 to 5 job miserable and angry and bitter because you let your dreams get away from you because you did not believe strongly enough in yourself and what was possible. This is an unbelievable time and I can't encourage you enough to continue to think that things are possible and that your dreams can come true. Just start. Start small. Start with changing tomorrow morning. Just tomorrow morning. Get that squared away. And then move on to the next day and the next and move your life to a better place. One little step. One inch at a time. One little victory at a time. One foot in front of the other. That's the only way we can do it. That's all it is. You just begin. You do the math, you solve one problem, and you solve the next one. We must keep moving. We must keep going. If you can't fly, run. If you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, crawl. But by all means, keep moving. You only have one life. You only come around here once. Why wait? Why not start now? It doesn't matter what your situation is. It doesn't matter how bad it is. It doesn't matter what resources you lack. It doesn't matter. One day, you'll be dead. Why not go for it? Why not just get it done right now? Because I guarantee if you don't start now, it's quite likely that you'll never start. And most people never get their dreams off the ground simply because they're too afraid, but they're not realizing that. Every day that they don't do it is another day closer to the grave. Do you want to go to the grave not having fulfilled your potential, not having lived the life that you wanted to live? If the answer to that is no, then you need to get hustling right now. Not tomorrow, not the day after, right now. Go after that goal that you want. Set up that project. Get going on those things. You want to be the best version of yourself that you possibly can be. Most people will never be like that. You don't want to fall into that trap that most people fall into. They get comfortable, they get relaxed, they settle for a life that they don't really want. But it's comfortable, it's easy. You don't want that. You want a life that is above average, extraordinary, far beyond what most people can conceive. If you want a life like that, you have to hustle. You have to get going. Get up out of your seat and move. You have to take massive action. It's hard, it sucks, it can sap you of your mental and physical energy, but you need to get going and get up after those things that you want. No one's gonna do it for you. Work on yourself every day. Get better, improve, learn, extend yourself, push yourself out of your comfort zone. Push the boundaries that you're accustomed to. That's the only way to grow as a person. If you look at all the successful people in the world, one common thread between all of them is that they've all hustled. They've all gotten to work, gotten busy. The gap between here and your ultimate life is action. That's the link. You have to hustle. You have to get out there and do what's required. What excuse do you have? What reason do you have not to? 
turn this video off, get out there, and get to work. If you want to be great, you want to be the baddest motherfucker ever at what you do, you're going to be misunderstood by everybody. Because you're going to be so fucking obsessed and so driven to get there. That's what it takes. It takes every second of your fucking life. Anybody says balance? Yeah, balance is important for a lot of people. It is. But if you want to go to that edge where people do not like you, don't understand you, question everything you do, you've arrived. When you are misunderstood to the point where people think you're psycho and you're nuts and you're this and that, why are you in the gym at one o'clock in the morning? What's wrong? You will never understand. And that's why I'm so glad you don't. When people don't understand you anymore, you're in that spot of obsession and drive. I hear so much talk. I don't hear a lot of work. It's not gonna happen fast. It takes a lot of patience, a lot of time, and a lot of pitfalls, a lot of plateaus. So you have to always be willing to work. We wanna skip forward to peace. Let's skip all this pain and suffering and misery of real life. Let's cover it over, nice big blanket, and let's find peace. No, it's not possible. You gotta go to war with yourself before you find peace. It is miserable to get up every day when it's snowing, not shiny, not comfortable, and to go in the gym and work out when you don't wanna go to the gym. It is not fun. It's a hard journey. It's a real journey. It's a journey that's gonna take you way outside of being comfortable. If you wanna find peace with yourself, self-esteem, all of these things are gonna be found only through sacrifice, getting uncomfortable, and putting yourself in situations that you don't wanna do. How badly do you wanna change your life and what are you willing to endure to craft that life that you aspire to have or do you just wanna talk about it? You have to go beyond writing your vision to executing your vision. You don't have the idea, but you have not worked it. But this is the year I need you to start working the plan, working the vision, executing your call, executing the idea, executing the dream, executing what it is that you have imagined. I need you to declare it out loud. I've got to make this work. Some days, of course. I'll get tired. Some days I will get beat up. Some days I will get knocked down and I will have some bad days. But I will not stop. This isn't punch the clock and go home for the day. Here, there's no such thing as a weekend. This is an everyday gig. Every day is a Monday. And you might not like that me I love it to me every day is a beginning a new day a new week a new shot at life an opportunity to come out of the gate like a man possessed and attack the day without mercy today I'm putting the pressure on I am the aggressor I am on the attack people that succeed quit quitting when things get hard. Any path you take to get where you want to be, if that place is worthwhile to go, it's going to be hard. Struggle, pain, misery, frustration, those are signs that you are on the right path. Nobody that is where you want to be has gotten there without these struggles, without the pain. And if you want to be something great, you are going to have to learn to accept the struggle as part of the recipe. Every single day you need to look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, what am I willing to do to get what I want? And if the answer is, whatever the fuck I have to, you'll get there in time. It's necessary you take responsibility for it. That you make it happen, that you don't give up, that you don't take any objection or disappointment or defeats personally. That you keep on keeping on, that you don't decide that I can't make it because you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, that you realize that's a part of the program. See, as long as you breathe, then you got a shot at your breathe. And here's something you've got to resolve. Not over till I get through. Not over till I get over. Not over till I get what I want. You all can't open the day, look out. I'm going to come back and take the hinges off. That's, that's how you got to do that. You've got to have that kind of courage, that type of determination. If you want to make it happen, it's you. But you've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen. We can point out many things that can make it inconvenient or can slow us down. But ultimately, 
It's you. There are a lot of people who are biting their fingers in fear that they might lose their jobs. But there are few people who have decided within themselves, I'm going to make it. Some people aren't waiting to be cut. Some people are moving on their own because they feel within themselves, I've got what it takes to make it. They're not afraid about tomorrow because of how they see themselves, because of what they feel that they deserve, because of what they feel that they can create for themselves. Because these people have decided, as they look at the future, as they look at themselves, there's a way. Where there's a will, there's a way for me to begin to create a way out of no way. And when you have that kind of consciousness, when you have that kind of spirit, nothing can stop you. Nothing. What does the $500,000 a year person do? The $50,000 a year person doesn't do. He pays the price a little bit more. He works hard and a little bit more. He believes in a little bit more. He makes money and a little bit more. He saves money and a little bit more. If you want to win in business, you got to be tough and you can't quit. Somebody's going to win, you or him. And the person that wins is going to want it the most. This business is nothing but an attitude business. It's your attitude about you. It's your attitude about life. If you go out there this week and you just think you're supposed to be somebody, you're going to do something big and you go out there and you work hard and you prepare well and you get up mentally and you go out there and you leave it all on the field and you just have a feeling that dad gummit, this is our time, we, we going to do it. You've got a chance to win. Life gives you what you'll fight for. Life don't give you what you want. Life don't give you what you'd love to have. Everybody would love to be successful, right? Everybody wants success. They want financial independence. Life gives you what you will excel. If you want to win, you got to show up and demand for yourself success and fulfillment and happiness. I believe desire and determination is everything. It ain't talent. It ain't brains. It ain't education. It's desire and determination. You've got to have a will to win. You've got to have a hunger to be somebody. This is your life. This is your legacy. This is who you are. You're writing your history right now. We got to get to work, man. We got to get to work because we live in a day and a time where we have every opportunity to be our best self. Some people are born with extraordinary size, strength, speed, and talent, but without determination, that talent never flourishes. At the end of the day, talent will not win the game. It is work ethic that will win the game. No one is born a world champion. The successful do what they must, what they can to be the best, to be number one. You need to get so busy, so consumed, so obsessed with activity that you don't know about the celebrities that are getting a divorce. Like, who cares, man? Why? Because I'm too damn busy, dude. Your success is going to come from activity, from being obsessed, from being like so into it that you lose track of time. It is this type of determination that just happens to build tremendous confidence. Confidence in knowing that most likely your competitors are not doing the same sacrifices. Determination gives you that mental edge. Life is going to test that will every time. Life is going to see how bad you want what you say you want. People think commitment is just saying, yes, I'll do it because the environment is right and it's cute. But what commitment is, commitment is staying true to what you said you were going to do long after the mood that you have set it in has left. Meaning when you don't feel like getting up in the morning, you get your butt up in the morning, you do what you said you were going to do anyway. Meaning when you don't feel like sacrificing, you get your butt up and you sacrifice anyway. Meaning when you don't feel like being dedicated to it, you stay your butt dedicated anyway because you understand what the process will go on to produce later on in your life. And we have to get to the point where we're willing to impose our will on certain things. Impose your will on it. Life will give in to you if it knows you're serious about whatever it is that you're trying to do. Life will give in to you. But it boils down to it, I'm a go-getter and I'm a flat-out go-getter. And nothing will not stop me from getting it. Enough may not be enough. 50 cars might not be enough. 120 might not be enough. I don't know. I'm just telling you that sometimes enough is not enough.
And so what do you have to do? You gotta dig deep and find more. It takes energy and it takes effort. That's all you need to do to be successful. You need to put more energy into what you're doing than anybody else. So you're getting up at 4 and it ain't working. Get up at 3.30. So you read the book once and then you didn't get it. Read it twice. Read it three times. I don't care what happened yesterday when you got up. If your dream ain't a reality, don't give up. Don't give in. I just want you to go a little harder. Put forth a little bit more energy. Give me a little bit more effort. But don't give up and don't give in. There's going to be some struggles. Are you hearing me? Without struggle, there is no progress. But I'm telling you, you can do it. You can make it happen. Ladies and gentlemen, there are many nights I walked the floor and did not know how I was going to make it. And you must feel during those times, he said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. There are times all the motivation in the world cannot help you. That you're going to have to lean on the power greater than yourself. Repeat out to me, please. If I put God first, I'll never come in second. Yes. And once you, once when you're working with your dream, and you have that kind of, of spirit about you, repeat out to me, please. I'm blessed and highly favored. See, when people ask you, say, how are you doing? Even if you're having some difficult times, say, I'm blessed and highly favored. Because anytime you wake up and you don't have a white chalk outline around your body, it's a great day. And so I say to you, it's possible you can live your dream if it's becoming a diamond, if it's having more, if it's achieving more, if it's being a better father, being a better mother, whatever it is, overcoming addiction, changing our society, it's possible you can live your dream. It's necessary that you have a plan of action, that you're resilient, that you stick to, and you work with the system, that you work with people, that you give support, and that you be there for them, that you have the vision and never give up, that you become creative and relentless and keep on coming back again and again and again and that it's you that you got to take personal responsibility to make it happen and that it's hard easy is not an option and when life knocks you down jump back up and say it's not over until I win and when you know it's hard and you write down those reasons that will energize you that will inspire you when you want to give up when you doubt yourself and you pull those reasons out, that will make it worth it for you. And once you find those things that will make it worth it for you, it will create a hunger within you that won't be denied. And then it is done. It's a done deal. It's done. You know people, you've seen people that you can predict early on, that person is going to be a diamond. You know it. How they carry themselves. How they take care of business. How will they follow through? How they keep their commitments to their commitment. How they work the system, their energy level, their passion. You know it, the mark is on them. You know it. That one's going to make it. You know it. I went to a friend of mine's house the other day and we were looking at a son who was watching Billy Graham on television and everybody said, that young man's going to be a preacher. The mark is on him. We know certain people that that mark is on them and people must see that in you.